2 at 5.30 tonight, teachers in one local city have a new way of alerting officials if they're ever in an emergency situation. New technology is making it faster and easier than calling 911. And today, we wanted to see how it all worked. From the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is in Central Falls with the details. When emergencies happen, we call 911, and a dispatcher sends a police officer to the scene. Now there's technology where you don't have to call 911. You can communicate directly with police officers, potentially saving seconds, even minutes. That technology is in some Rhode Island classrooms. Kids in Central Falls went back to school this week, and this year teachers here have a new way to contact police if a dire emergency ever comes up at school. I think it's one of the best tools we've been able to adopt in our city. With the tap of a cell phone or the push of a computer button, teachers can alert all other staff members, dispatch, and police if there's ever a threat at school. The alert system is called CopSync 911. This will allow us to communicate with anyone in the classroom and give us real-time information to any police officer that's near the location. Those officers can receive the threat alerts from the computers in their patrol cars. They can then access a map of the inside of the school, so no time is wasted figuring out where the threat's coming from. We all want what's best for our students, and, and a priority is not only the education, but the safety. The issue of school safety came to the fore after the Sandy Hook massacre in Connecticut almost three years ago, when a gunman killed 20 children and six adults. Officials hope this technology will help prevent a similar tragedy. We want to be able to have as much preparedness to be able to cut down on response time and save lives. Central Falls schools are the first in Rhode Island to adopt CopSync 911. The mayor hopes other communities implement the technology too. The superintendent says he's had nothing but positive feedback about it from parents and teachers. I'm Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.